Hello again and welcome. Today's video is going to be my attempt at a rather large goblet. Um, in fact around two, two foot six I think by the time it's finished. Um, we're going to be turning it out of a large limb of ash, wet, it's around 20-22% something like that and it'll be putting to the test the extra length I got on my new Stratos FU230 and I'm looking forward to that but it should be quite a challenge. Before I go into the video I'd like to give a massive thank you to a guy called Brian Jarvis. Brian contacted me on Messenger a little while ago and asked me if I'd be interested in a branding iron that he'd made for me and I thought really I couldn't believe it. Anyway, to cut a long story short, Brian decided to come down on the Sunday and he brought me this powered branding iron which he's made and it's got a logo of MW in the middle and uh, wood turning with Mike Walt. I'm over the moon with it and it really, really works well and uh, I shall be using that on not all my pieces because some of them don't deserve to have my name on them and another thing as well if you can see there there's a clock Brian brought me that as well and it's got wood turning with Mike Walt it's got the Stratos logo on the left there at nine o'clock and at three o'clock FU230 and it's made out of Corian um, and it's got an ugly mug of me in the middle there <laughs> Brian I was overwhelmed with that and Brian came down and we sat in the garden and got sunburnt for about two hours chatting and I totally forgot that I was due to go to some friends for dinner later on anyway we had a great time thanks Brian and before I go uh, a quick mention to a guy called Scott War and his good lady wife uh, they watch my YouTube channel and watch my videos and subscribe and we were chatting he's a new turner and uh, I think we're going to be meeting up in the in the near future too for a chat and uh, some guidelines hopefully well thanks that's that Scott a shout out has been given well without further ado let's get on with turning this rather large goblet
Well, here it is, finally. Um, really pleased how it turned out, actually, and amazed how much different it is turning something this large um, <coughs> in a form, i.e. a goblet, that I've turned many of. Uh, everything is different, the proportions. I'm not sure it's exactly as I wanted it to turn out, but I'm quite happy with it. And just for the record, it stands at two foot five inches tall and the bowl and the base are approximately four and a quarter inches across. Uh, so all in all, from a piece of wet wood, it was about 22% I think from memory when I started and of course I did this over a period of three days because of commitments, work etc and other things, real life getting in the way as they say. So. Each time I wrapped it up in cling film overnight to keep the moisture in, but it did move. Um, the bowl especially, I mean that's completely dry now, that's about 6%, um, so that really did warp. So in some of the shots during the filming, it looks as if the whole thing is really out of sync, but the centre was, uh, was okay if you like, it was just the rim that had warped quite considerably. And all I've done is sanded it down to 400, and applied one coat of Danish oil up to now, the Hampshire Sheen uh, Food and Toy Safe Danish oil, and I'll apply a few more coats over the coming days, and I think that'll be, that'll be it. I won't put any other finish on it. I've still got to just take that little nub off the bottom there, sand the bottom, and again coat that with Danish oil. But yeah, all in all, I'm very pleased with it. It was, it was good fun. There's an awful lot of wood wasted, obviously, but it was one of those things that had to be done. And I think if I ever did anything like this again, I would wait until I could get a log that was relatively straight because the bowing was really difficult work. And uh, anyway, it, was, it was good. Okay, thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.